I just want that to never happen to another girl again. Upset and angry, a community taking aim at the principal after a student's microphone was cut during her graduation speech tonight. They say the problem isn't just censorship, it's the school turning a blind eye to sex assault. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Ama Dates. And I'm Dan Ashley. The community voicing its criticism at a school board meeting in Petaluma tonight and speaking in support of that censored valedictorian. ABC 7 News reporter Kate Larson is live at Petaluma High School. Kate. Well, Alma Dan, that valedictorian Lulabelle Seitz went here, Petaluma High School, and the story has made national news. But tonight's school board meeting was not just about Seitz. It was about the parents, teachers, students, and alumni speaking up about sexual harassment and the perceived lack of consequences. Um, my sophomore year, I was sexually assaulted at Petaluma High School in the band room. In front of microphones, the school board and a room full of people, Bailey Walston spoke through tears about a deeply personal trauma that she wishes would have inspired more change within the school district. And he assaulted another girl because he got away with it. And I just want that to never happen to another girl again. Walston and others with painted purple letter speak signs lined up for public comment after Petaluma High valedictorian Lulabelle Seitz had her mic cut during her graduation speech. Seitz said she was sexually assaulted by another student and that the school feared she would name that student during her speech. She spoke to ABC7 by phone today about a new online petition with thousands of signatures to remove Petaluma High's principal. I would say if he, ha if he doesn't change his policies and behaviors, like he hasn't been, and if he doesn't take what happened as a wake up call, then he either needs to be retrained or removed. I'm here because I feel like we can do more. Colin Caldwell is a history teacher at a Petaluma Junior High and has two daughters in the district, one of whom was sexually harassed at school. He spoke at the meeting and says schools need to more openly support victims. Girls are harassed. Sometimes they're touched when they don't want to be touched. And while as educators we can't control all that stuff, we can control how we respond. After the meeting, I asked the school board president and the assistant superintendent to respond to the criticism and calls for the principal here to be removed, and both of them declined to comment.